Hello everyone, welcome back to Walking to Craft Beer. My name is Piers. I have three uh, Braybrook uh, beers to review actually this week. Uh, starting off with their Hell's Lager. They have a Hell's, a Session and a Keller Lager. I'm starting off with Hell's for familiarity. Uh, the Braybrook Brewery is based in Leicestershire in the countryside and they're making high quality lagers to exacting German principles. As for the Hell's Lager itself, as I've already expected from this and I'm happy that they have a description on the back of the bottle. Um, this Hell's Lager is their take on a traditional Bavarian Hell's. Uh, it's malt forward, so you'll get malt on the tip of the tongue, on the palate, but it's light and easy drinking as well, and not quite as uh, bodied in malt as a Pilsner, to put bluntly. Um, it's a straw coloured lager, so I'm expecting it to be the colour straw, quite like possibly this similar colour to this uh, Def Leppard logo here, if not a bit paler. Uh, it's brewed with Pilsner and Munich malts and gently hopped with Hallertau traditional hops. They're very interesting and very appreciated to see what hops that they're using. It's matured for 30 days, so just a bit of an insight into that. This is why you tend to find a lot of the lighter beers more available on the beer market, not just the UK but worldwide, because they're easier and quicker to produce and take a lot less time. Time being a very uh, important factor because the time taking to brew this and have it mature, well, 30, let's take it to about 40, 50 days. Whereas a lot of the stronger dark beers, especially if they're specialty, may take up to a year. So with the darker beers, you could end up making a lot more lagers and therefore that could generate more money. But they've gone for this route. Um, it's unpasteurized and unfiltered, which is good to hear. Uh, and it's a very sessionable lager with plenty of flavor for its strength. As for the strength, if I can find it on here, if it's on here in fact. 4.2%, it's at the bottom just there, wasn't that easy to view. I would have preferred it say up here, somewhere where it's visible, but this is the bottle. It's very simple, let's crack it open. Black basic cap by the way. Interesting pop. I do like the style of the can, it's nice and simple, nothing too much flashy, stands out against a lot of the rest. I'm pouring it here, not much head's going to be produced, it is a Hell's after all. A little bit at the bottom, point I do with the uh, pictures. There you are. As said, straw colour, very similar to the logo I was mentioned. Uh, very clear, but uh, a little bit hazy because it's unfiltered. Bubbles forming from the bottom up. Very small head. Strawy, malty, not so much on the hops at the moment. A fairly pale. Um, no sense for the nose, nothing too much going on. It is a Hell's, um, they're not going to be as uh, impressionable as a Pilsner on the nose. Interesting, lowish carbonation, uh, a bit lower than expected, flatter at the end. Um, Okay, so you get a light amount of malt on the front, um, on the palate, when you first drink it. Uh, the carbonation is around a 3 out of 10. It's not too much for strong beer, but it's, it's fairly flat, but it's not thick, so it doesn't die out. It's uh, not too carbonated, but because it's quite a smooth, easy drinking lager, uh, it's not, um, you know, negligible. Mm. Very slightly getting some of that hops, that very small amount of bitterness, but it does tend to uh, fit right into what a Hells is. I've had a few Hells before, such as from the Camden uh, Brewery, their Camden Hells. This does fit the bill as a Hells Lager, and I would give this a 7 out of 10. Very good lager. For a Hells, I'd say it's definitely a good one to get into. Uh, Hells Lagers, I would definitely recommend having a look at over normal ones because. There's a little bit more choice there and uh, gives you a little bit of a different taste, uh, especially with compared to the other Braybrook ones, which I'll be reviewing soon as well. So there you go, the Braybrook Brewery Hell's Lager, 7 out of 10.